So we're just going to start with some standing work. So if everyone can come up to standing, feet are going to be hip width apart. And I just want you to assess your body. So maybe you're sitting a little bit more than you're used to, or maybe you're um, in the garden. Maybe you're going outside and you're noticing that maybe your back is sore from bending over more. So I want you just to kind of assess, feel what is different, what is normal, where are you holding any tension. Make sure that you have not locked your knees. Um, so if you're someone who kind of locks the knees, jams them back, lightly turn them off. Think about your sit bone shining straight down to the floor. So one way I like to think of this is the back side of the body is pulling straight down as the front side of the body is pulling up. So for example, the back of my thighs are reaching down, but from my kneecaps, the front of my thighs are pulling up. So my pubic bone is drawing up, but my tailbone is reaching down. And I want my pelvis in neutral. With the ribs, I wanna make sure that I'm not popping the chest, so even though I cue to draw the front side of the body up, make sure that you're not overextending. We want to be in that neutral. Think about your collarbones being nice and wide. And then if we're holding any tension in the neck and shoulders, I want you to think about relaxing those shoulders. Let them hang nice and heavy, but wide across the collarbones. Think about looking straight forward. So your chin is level. It's not over lifted or you're not looking down at the floor. And I want you just to take three nice deep breaths. And as you take those breaths, I want you to think about expanding your rib cage. So inhale, take a nice deep breath. And then exhale as you release. And then again, inhale, nice deep breath. And then exhale, let it go. And then one more. So from there, we're gonna go into a roll down. So you're gonna nod your chin, let your head and shoulders roll forward, let your arms be nice and heavy. As you draw your abdominals up, as you slowly articulate through the spine as you go down. Again, make sure you're not locking your knees. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale as you slowly curl up. Stacking the spine, tailbone to head. Think about growing through the crown of your head as you hit the top. We're gonna do that again, but stay at the bottom. Inhale, nod the chin. Draw those abdominals up to support you as you roll through the spine and come down. Let yourself be heavy. Think of a tree blowing in the wind. So you're just gonna sway from one side to the other. Inhale and exhale. I really like this exercise. I find it really loosens up the low back, but it's important to continue thinking about supporting yourself. Slowly come back to center. Take a nice deep breath and slowly articulate back up. We're going to do that again. Inhale, nod the chin, roll through the spine. Let yourself hang. So let those arms hang. And then let your arms sway in a circle. So you're going to do five circles in one direction. And then five circles in the opposite direction. Watch that your head does not drift up. Let it be heavy. Let it hang. And then again, take a nice deep breath. And then slowly roll on up. Good, we're gonna do one more of those. So again, nod the chin, roll through the spine, let your head and your arms hang. At the bottom, I just want you to nod your head yes and no a few times. Really think about releasing the tension in the back of your neck. Again, letting those shoulders hang. And then take a nice deep breath, and then slowly roll on up. So we're gonna come down to seated. And if you have tight hips, I want you to, you can, you have a few options.
So if you find it difficult to sit with uh, your knees bent, like your hips get super grippy, or even sitting in the diamond position, if you have a mat, just roll your mat up and then you can sit on top of your mat. The fact that you're elevated is going to allow the muscles to release. A few other options, if you don't, if you maybe don't want to use your mat because you're um, lying on it, fold up a towel, same concept with the towel, or if you have a yoga block, a yoga block works as well. So those are all options for the seated work that we're about to do. So just find yourself on your mat, start with your feet hip width apart and knees bent, and then let your knees fall out to the side. So you don't have to have your feet super close, let them be comfortable, and you're just sitting up nice and tall. Again, we're gonna take three nice deep breaths. So really breathing into the back and the sides of the, the rib cage. And as you take those breaths, make sure you're breathing down into your ribs. You don't want it to go into your neck and your shoulders. And one more. From there, we're going to forward fold. So if you want to keep your knees uh, in parallel and bent, your hands will just slide down the front of your shins. Otherwise, stay in the diamond position and the hands will again slide forward. So you take that nice deep inhale and then exhale as you forward fold. From the base of the spine, slowly stack the spine up and lengthen through the crown of the head. And then again, inhale, nice deep breath. Exhale, draw those lower abdominals in as you forward fold. And then from the base of the spine, stack back up. We're gonna do one more. Inhale, and then exhale. And then stacking back up. Good. So again, you can stay in the diamond position or have your legs in parallel. You're up nice and tall. You're gonna roll off your sit bones. You're gonna roll back. So you're curving the spine back. Scoop the abdominals and lengthen back up. And then again, inhale, you roll off the sit bones. Let the spine curve. Keep those shoulders down and away from your ears. Scoop the abdominals and lengthen back up. One more, inhale back. And then exhale forward. Good. We're gonna go into rotation. So inhale to one side as you hinge back. Exhale, draw those abdominals in as you lengthen back up. Same thing on the opposite side. You roll off the sit bones, opening up. Exhale, scoop and come up. So again, if we're in the parallel, same idea. Inhale as you roll back. Exhale, scoop the abdominals and lengthen back up. Inhale as you roll back. Exhale forward. One more on each side. And just think of your fingertips brushing along the floor, keeping the hips and the knees nice and still. Good. From there, you're going to lengthen your legs out. So preferably think about drawing your toes towards you to really create that length in the back of your legs. Sitting up nice and tall. Again, watch those shoulders. Don't let them hike up. You're going to draw those abdominals in as you flex and reach up and over. From the tailbone, stack the spine and come back up. So for this one, you really let yourself go forward. So let yourself Feel the stretch if you want to feel the stretch in the back of your leg. So inhale as you go up and over, drawing those abdominals. Exhale as we come back up. Just watch the shoulders. I know my shoulders hiked up on that one. So again, keep the shoulders down and back of the rib cage as you reach forward. If you want to hang out here and have a little bit of a stretch, take a nice deep breath and then stack the spine. We're going to do two more of those. Inhale up and over. 
and then exhale as you stack. And then again, inhale up and over, and then stack the spine back up. From there, we're gonna rotate, and if you're getting uncomfortable with the legs being straight, you can always cross, and then remember your options of sitting up, just to alleviate the hips. So staying nice and tall, inhale as you rotate to one side of the room, exhale as you come back to center. Same thing on the opposite side, and then exhale as you come back to center. As you rotate, think about equal weight into those sit bones, exhale back to center. As you rotate, think about growing tall through the crown of your head, and then exhale back to center. Inhale, and exhale back to center. Last one on the opposite side, and then exhale back to center. Good, so we're gonna go into our saw. So widen your feet as wide as your mat, Extend your arms, and then you're gonna go opposite hand to foot. So you're gonna rotate and flex. Think about your pinky finger sawing off your pinky toe. So we pulse, 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 stack the spine back up, and then come back to center. Same thing on the opposite side. You rotate and flex, pulse, 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 stack the spine and sit up nice and tall. Again, rotate and flex. Draw those abdominals in as you reach two, three, lengthen back up. Same thing, the hand that goes back, make that thumb reach down towards the floor, it's easier on the shoulder, and then you stack back up. Inhale up and over, pulse, 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 stack back up. Last one, and reach, pulse, 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 and then sitting up nice and tall. Good, from there, you're gonna lengthen up and slowly roll off your sit bones and roll down to the mat. So if you are sitting on something, you're gonna need to remove it from underneath you. So slowly, as slow as you can, roll down towards the mat. From there, bend your knees. Feet are still hip width apart. And I want you just to press through your feet and lift your hips up and then lower back down. So press through the heels, squeeze the glutes, and lift the hips, and then lower back down. Exhale, press through the heels, squeeze the glutes, and then lower back down. Think nice and wide across the collarbones. It's okay to push your arms down into the floor. That gives you a nice base. So think about pushing the back of your upper arm into the mat as you lift up, and then lower back down. On the next one, we're gonna hold. So press through those heels, lift the hips up, make sure you got some good weight into your feet because you're gonna lift your heels up, lower your heels, push into your heels and lift your hips higher, then lower down. So I'll repeat that sequence so you can try it again. Lift the hips up, lift the heels up, lower your heels and try to lift your hips higher and then lower back down. And we'll do that three more times. So again, you lift the hips up, lift the heels, lower the heels, lift the hips higher, and lower back down. Again, squeeze the glutes, lengthen, reach your knees away, lift the heels, lower the heels, lower the hips. One more, lift the hips, lift the heels, Lower the heels, try to lift the hips even higher, but try to maintain your neutral spine. And then lower the hips down and bring your knees into your chest and give them a good hug. Even rock side to side to stretch out that low back. So from there, keep your knees here. You always have the option for the next five exercises to keep your head down. You're gonna, otherwise you're gonna nod your chin Peel your head and shoulders up. One knee is gonna come into the chest as the opposite leg extends, and then you're gonna switch. So really emphasize the hug of the knee that's coming into the chest, and then switch. The leg that is straightening, think about it reaching nice and long. Inhale on one side, and exhale on the opposite side, or your breathing could be inhale for two, exhale for two. 
Make sure your eyes are looking towards your knees, not up at the ceiling, because that's that can cause you to strain through the neck. And we got one more on each side. And then you can bring both knees into the chest and lower your head down if it was lifted. So again, remember you have the option of the head up or down. If you're lifting the head, nod the chin, peel the shoulders up. So it's almost like you're in a ball and you're hugging your knees to your chest. Reach your arms and legs away from each other. Circle the arms around as you tuck the knees back in. So again, arms and legs reach away from each other. Exhale as you tuck back in. Again, inhale, reach, exhale, tuck. Inhale, reach, exhale, tuck. Make sure again your eye contact is towards your thighs. You don't want to strain into the neck. Inhale away, exhale in. Think about reaching nice and long, create length in your limbs. Inhale out, exhale in one more. And then again, lower the head down if you need to and give those knees a hug. So then we're going to go into our scissors. If you're keeping your head down when your legs are extended, grab closer to you. If your head is down and you're reaching, that again is going to cause strain into your neck. So if you're lifting the head, you nod the chin, peel the head and shoulders up. You can grab higher on the leg. One leg's going to come towards you as one leg lowers and then you switch. On this one, if your head is lifted, your eye contact is towards your big toe of the leg that is lowering. Again, inhale on one side, exhale on the other, or inhale for two, and exhale for two. So don't worry if your legs are perfectly straight. Think about moving from the hips. So we just don't want the knee bending and straightening. Whatever position it is in, we want to maintain. Last one on each side, and then again, bring the knees in and give them a hug. On the next one, whether your head is up or down, I always like to interlace the fingers and place them behind the head. So you, again, you can leave the head down or nod the chin, peel the shoulders up, and then the legs extend up into the air. So the legs don't have to be perfectly straight. We wanna think about moving from the hip joint. Inhale as you lower the thighs, Exhale as you scoop and pull towards you. Inhale as you lower. Exhale, scoop and pull towards you. Inhale down, exhale up. On this one, the movement does not need to be big. You can move an inch and you can still focus on drawing those lower abdominals in, creating that scoop into your stomach to get the movement. Inhale down, exhale up. And again, if your head is lifted, look towards your thighs, not up at the ceiling. And we go one more after this one. Good. And then again, bring the knees into the chest and give them a hug. So to finish, we got our crisscross. I like to keep the hands behind the head. Watch that you're not pulling on your head. So if you have a tendency to pull on your neck, put your fingers by your ears instead of clasping them behind the head. Knees are at tabletop. You're going to nod the chin, peel the head and shoulders up. Opposite shoulder goes towards opposite knee, and then you switch. So I'm reaching one leg away, and then the opposite knee is coming in. Think about rotating through the torso instead of pulling your elbow towards the knee. Inhale up and over, exhale switch. Or again, inhale for two, exhale for two. And we got two more on each side. Excellent. Bring the knees into the chest. Give them a good hug. And then stretch out. Wiggle those fingers and toes away from each other. Let those abdominals relax. Even take a nice deep belly breath. And let those abs just release any tension that they've got. So we're going to roll on to our side from here. So two options. For the first exercise... You can be up on your forearm, but if you find this hard on your shoulder or your neck, just start for the first couple of exercises lying down so that you're not straining, and then you'll come up to join us. If you are on your forearm, 
Think of your elbow being directly underneath your shoulder. And then from there, I want you to try and externally rotate. So I'm turning my hand out as far as I can, still keeping the elbow underneath the shoulder. So instead of it pointing straight in front of me, I've pulled it open. I'm lifting up through the waistline, drawing those abdominals in. To start, I'm just gonna float the top leg up and then nice and slow back down. So lower abdominals are drawing in, waistline is lifting up. Inhale as you float the leg up and then nice and slow back down. So if you did choose to be up on your forearm, sometimes the urge is to tip the head so that you're looking upright. You wanna to try to keep your neck neutral. So the idea is to keep it in line with the upper body. And it can be challenging to feel without a mirror, or, or if you can see your reflection in your video camera, that's one way to tell you whether your neck is in line or not. We got two more. Inhale as you float the leg up, and then nice and slow back down. Inhale up exhale down. So then we're going to keep the leg lifted and the top hand can be on the floor to give you support. So about hip height, inhale as that leg comes forward, exhale, squeeze the bum and draw that leg back. So you're trying to keep the upper body nice and still, inhale as you reach, exhale as you pull back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale, reach nice and long, squeeze the bum and draw that top leg back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Good. So we've got three left. Good. So if you are not on your forearm, I want you to join us and come up onto the shoulder. Think about lifting out of that shoulder. We're only gonna do five. Your palm is facing the floor. You're gonna push into your palm and lift your elbow up and then lower back down. Again, press into the mat, try to lift up and then lower back down. Still trying to draw in through those lower abdominals. We got two left. Exhale, push away and then control it back down. Really getting those triceps. Last one. Excellent. Push yourself up to seated. Take the top leg and cross it over and then just give it a nice hug. So you can just either hug it or you can also rotate towards that leg as you hug it. And then just take a nice deep breath into those ribs. Keep those shoulders nice and relaxed. Excellent. Now you're gonna go over to the opposite side. So again, line yourself up on the back edge of your mat. Hips and shoulders are stacked. Make sure if you are choosing to be on your forearm that your elbow is directly underneath your shoulder. And then you'll just slightly pull the legs forward towards the front corner of your mat. And then externally rotate that forearm. From there, think lower abdominals on, draw the waistline in, even if you're lying down with your head, and then top leg floats up, and then nice and slow back down. Inhale as you float up, nice and slow back down. Inhale up, think about creating length in that leg. So that leg is reaching long, and then you control it down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, trying to keep the neck nice and neutral as well. And we got three more. Inhale, float it up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more. And then we're going to keep that leg hip height. Inhale as the top leg comes forward. Squeeze the bum and draw it back. And then again, inhale as the top leg reaches forward. Squeeze the glutes and draw back. Inhale forward exhale back inhale reach exhale back and I'm using my top hand to support me to help me stay nice and steady inhale as I reach creating length in that leg and then drawing it back really trying to connect into my glute 
as I squeeze the leg back. Last two, inhale forward, exhale back. Excellent, so if you're not on your forearm, come up onto your forearm. Remember, elbow underneath the shoulder, and we wanna lift out of that shoulder and externally rotate the forearm. When you're ready, we're gonna go into those triceps, so press through the palm and come up, and then control it back down. And then again, press through the palm, try to lift up, and then control it back down. And you might notice a difference, one side stronger than the other, this is my stronger side. The other side was challenging. And we got one more. Excellent. Come up to sitting. Take your top leg. Cross it over the opposite leg. And then give it a hug. Whether you just pull it into the chest. Or whether you rotate towards it. And again, make sure those shoulders aren't tensing up as you hug that leg. And then we're gonna come on to our hands and knees. So knees are hip width apart. Hands are directly below your shoulders. If you find this hard on your wrist, feel free to go into the fist position to keep a neutral wrist. We're just gonna start with our cat. So from the base of the spine, take a nice deep inhale and then exhale, tuck the tailbone, scoop the abdominals round the back, letting the head hang and then lengthen out, drop the belly, and lift the chest. And then again, exhale, tuck the tailbone, scoop the abdominals around the back, and then lengthen out, drop the belly, feel like you're pulling your chest through your arms. And then again, exhale up, inhale out. Two more. And then we're gonna wag our tail. So you're gonna, if you hike your right hip up, you're gonna look over your right shoulder. Come back to center, hike the left hip up and look over your left shoulder. And then come back to center. So you're alternating. Right side, hike the right hip, look over the right shoulder. Lift the left hip, look over the left shoulder. Two more, so one on each side. Curl your right heel up towards your bum. So you, I've pulled my heel up and I feel like I'm on my kneecap. You're gonna continue to wag your tail but incorporate the thigh. So the foot rotates to the right, I look over the right shoulder. The foot rotates to the left, I look over the left shoulder. Inhale to one side, exhale to the opposite side. Inhale to one side, Exhale to the opposite, one more on each side. And then you're gonna switch legs. Pull the opposite heel towards your bum. So you're on that kneecap. You turn the foot to one side of the room, look in that direction. And then switch, inhale to the one side, exhale, switch. Inhale to one side, exhale, switch. So you wanna think of that thigh internally, and externally rotating. Last one. And then sit back into your child pose. So sit back towards the heels. Now if you find it hard on your knees, it's okay for your hips to stay high. I want you to go for the shoulder stretch. So you're just leaving those arms out and keep the hips up if it bothers the knees. But if you're able to sit all the way back, just let yourself sit all the way back onto the heels. So nice deep breath, again, breathing away from your shoulders. Now take one hand and thread the needle. So you're gonna reach under the opposite arm, let your head rest on the mat, and just getting a nice shoulder stretch as you go into that rotation. And then three nice deep breaths. and then you're gonna switch sides. So come back to center into your child pose. Opposite arm threads under, let the head relax, and then again, breathe into the rib cage. Three nice deep breaths. Come back 
come back to center. And then I want you just to come back up to standing. So feet are hip width apart again. Standing nice and tall. Feet are in parallel, so our toes are pointing forward. Again, making sure we're not locking into our knees. We're gonna think about our sit bone shining straight down towards the floor. So we're drawing on the front, up on the front side of the body and drawing down on the back side of the body. Think about the ribs right on top of the pelvis, nice and wide across the collarbones and let those arms hang. Take a nice deep breath as you grow through the crown of your head. You're, you're looking straight forward, so make sure that chin is lifted, but not too high. And then exhale, release. From there, I want you to interlace your fingers, press them down towards the floor. Take a nice deep inhale as you reach the arms forward and up towards the ceiling. From there, really breathe into the sides of the ribs as you reach up and away. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale, up and over to the opposite side of the room. Exhale, come back to center. Release those arms and slowly lower. Then again, I want you to take a nice deep breath. Inhale as you reach up towards the ceiling. This time, just take a hand and grab the wrist. Reach up and away. Exhale, come back to center. Switch sides. Inhale up and over. Make sure you're not locking into your knees. Exhale, come back to center and release. And then to finish, I want you to interlace your fingers behind your back. Think about rolling your shoulders back and down. So if you have to do a couple shoulder shrugs just to kind of get the idea up and back and then let them drop down. Think about opening up through the chest. If that is enough, you're just gonna stay there. If you feel like you can take it a little bit farther, nod the chin, scoop the abdominals as you forward fold, letting the arms lift. So it's all dependent on what your shoulders feel comfortable with. Don't force it. Let your head hang. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale, use your legs. Slowly articulate through the spine to come up. And then just shake out those arms. And then one last nice deep breath. Inhale. And then exhale. And you are all done.